Welcome, in this video I'll show you how to fix a screen if it goes black randomly here on Windows 11, alright? I'm assuming that you already checked your cables, okay? Try wobbling it and check if it helps. I do have this problem with my monitor where, first up, my power cable, okay? It's wobbly, I'm just um, going to make sure that it is uh, sitting tight on its plug. Also, my display port, okay? I do have the same problem, but it's all right now. Just bought a new cable and a display port, it's fine. Now, again, I'm assuming that you already checked your cable, so let's go ahead and do the thing here on our computer. But first up, go ahead and uh, go to your search bar and type in screen saver, like so. Go ahead and click on this one, change screen saver. All right. Now here, make sure that you click on a drop down and select none. If yours is set to blank, make sure that is set to none. Okay. Once done, hit on apply, hit on OK. Now go ahead and check it out if it helps. That will work. Go ahead over to the search bar and type in power option. Okay, go ahead and click on edit power plan. Just click on it. Now in here, make sure that turn off the display is set to never. Also put this computer to sleep never as well. Okay, once that's done, go ahead and make sure to save the changes. Okay, you'll be landed to this uh, exact page. Now in here, whatever you're using, go ahead and click on change uh, plan settings. And click on change advanced power settings. Okay. Here, go ahead and find PCI Express. Click on a drop down. Now, click on Link State Power Management. Now, in here, yours might be different. You might be able to see um, two options right here that is turned on. Just make sure that you turn it off. Okay. It will say battery right here if you're using a laptop. Okay. Battery. Make sure that the two options are turned off. Once I hit on apply, hit on OK. All right. Now, once that's done, Go ahead and check it out. If that still won't work, go ahead and update your graphics drivers. Okay? Outdated drivers may cause this issue. Now, if you have an uh, NVIDIA graphics card, go ahead and go to the, go ahead and go to the bottom right, right click on it and click on NVIDIA app. Okay? If you're using AMD or Intel, well, just go ahead and look it up online on how to update your specific drivers. Okay? In here, click on drivers and make sure that you have the latest drivers, okay? If you do have the latest drivers, go ahead and reinstall it. Try to reinstall, okay? Once done, go ahead and restart your computer and check if it helps. Now, if that's in work, go ahead over to your home screen right here, right click on a blank space. Now, go ahead and click on display settings, okay? Once done, select each monitor if you have two monitors, okay? Select one, first up, this one, then go ahead and scroll down and find advanced display. Just click on it and make sure that you select that you select the highest refresh rate that is available. Okay, going back, I'm going to select the other. I'm going to click on it, scroll down, advanced display, select the highest available. Okay, now if you do have two monitors right here, you might want to try to disable G Sync. Okay, that might help. Also, if adaptive sync is available to you, go ahead and disable it as well. Okay. Now, moving forward, if this one uh, doesn't help, go ahead and open up your search bar once more. Go ahead and type in CMD. Now, just click on Run as Administrator, okay? That will be a pop-up. Just click on Yes. And here, just type in SFC space forward slash scan now, okay? Once that's done, just hit on Enter. Wait for the process to finish. This one right here scans deep through your system files, okay? Just basically wait for it. And once it scans a, uh, you know, corrupted files, it will just fix it. Okay. You may need to restart your computer afterwards. Just go ahead and do so. And after that, I hope it helps. Okay. Now, if that's no work, the last option here is by going to our search bar and type in system updates. Okay. Click on check for updates. Once done, click on check for updates. If there are available updates, just go ahead and install those. Once done again. Restart your computer. I know it's pretty annoying. You got to restart your computer, but just do it. Okay. Restart your computer. Once it boots up, go ahead and check it out if it helps. That's how you fix this particular issue where your screen goes black randomly on Windows 11. Well, I hope this video helps and I'll see you in the next one.